All right, Snack Pack, this is my new friend, Christina. Hi, who, everybody. Who is also a van lifer. And today is a very exciting day because we did an interview the other day. And if you haven't watched that video, go watch it. But today is the van tour. Hi, Snack Packers. Thank you, Allison, for having me here. My name is Christina. I am going to be 46 year old, but by the time you watch it, I'm already 46. And I'm from San Diego, California. Right now, I'm part-timer. Sometime next year, I'm planning to do full-time. What's the type of van you have, and do you have a van name? Yes, my, I have a 2011 Ford E350 Econoline van. So it was a passenger van before it was converted, and his name is Noah. Awesome. Before we get into your home, you're also a YouTuber as well. So if you want to share where people can find you after this tour. My channel name is Vander Woman. So it's Wonder Woman, but with van. I love it. Everybody should be going over there. We'll watch this video first, but go over there, subscribe, like it because her channel is going to be huge. She has a great personality. It's awesome. We found out that we're like twins in real life. So I'm very excited to, I haven't even seen really all her van. So let's jump right in. As it is right now, it's set up as a city area, mostly because I'm doing part-time. I invite friends to come with me and we love going to the beach. So this is the perfect setup. And I have this lagoon mount that I got from Amazon. Very easy. So first I'm going to turn it into a table to show you how it is. It's this way. Usually this sits in the back of my driver's seat. And now I have a table and I like putting it this way when we're eating or sometimes I go to the beach, I have my laptop, I'm working. And then to turn it into a bed, let me move this first. It's really easy, but this piece of wood is kind of heavy. This one, this one, and it goes back underneath right here. I just have to move some stuff around. Every corner has a purpose. And then this one goes over here. This one goes over here. And for my bed covers, when I was looking for fabric, I find that they're so expensive. So I use curtains that I turn into this covers i just saw it myself curtain it cost me 15 dollars for two panel i have plenty to work with this one is actually super comfortable by itself but i do usually if i'm going to travel where i know i'm going to sleep i do have a mattress topper usually i set it up as a bed if i know i'm going to travel to sleep in the van so that's something that i have and i also got that on amazon because I'm still traveling part-time, I have like a little box here where I put all my intimates and then I have just all kinds of clothes. And then underneath, I have my folding chair, folding table, my machete, and this is my vacuum that was gifted to me. And over here, I have my... <laughs> This is something that is very, I guess, popular in the Philippines. If you're Filipino or if you have friends that are Filipino, please comment on her video. Let us know if you know what this is. This is super interesting. What is it? Because <laughs> I'm not Filipino. I don't know. And then this one is my rice cooker. I mean, you cannot be Filipino without a rice cooker, they said. And then I have more shoes underneath. This little drawer here was here, so this is not something that I did. Kind of came with the van. Starting from here, I was able to make this into a cabinet. I have this one for my oven. Portable gas nesting pots. This, this one goes really deep. 
so these things and these things and this are all gifted to me by a family friend so it's here i do have a camp stove right here this is basically a door that will allow me to have access to my gray water and my fresh water paper towel toilet paper a little travel jane <laughs> basically i can pee using this one i haven't tried it yet and i also have my cleaning supplies there and trash expandable napkins basically when it get wet it becomes like a little face towel even though i'm brown i still use sunscreen just because i'm brown doesn't mean i don't get burnt i get burned so i have this one here and then this cabinet i decided to open this way because this is mostly going to be my cabinet when i need to cook so most of the time i'm going to be where you're sitting so it's easier for me to access everything right now i just have my plates my balsamic vinegar and olive oil initially i showed you the green little gas tank but this was gifted to me it was so fancy it's my little gas tank it's portable and it comes with this really really neat container and initially i was gonna put the big gas tank over here but because of this it will basically give me so much room to put my plates and all other stuff here something that i ordered for me is my little <laughs> my little shameless plugging self advertising coffee mug so this is the channel name vander woman i love it <laughs> and then of course over here this is just another door to access everything i have my trash over here and then i have this yes and this one i got from the dollar store magnetic stuff here to lock the door i also added this one but right now my van is settling so i need to adjust this one to close properly it closes but as you drive the van the doors kind of you know shifted a little bit i'm so lucky that i'm afforded this whole entire time to figure my van out before I actually head out there. So yeah, everything still kind of shift and move and that's what I mean when I said everything is settling. I actually put all my window covers underneath the cushions and basically I got a big roll of Reflectix from Home Depot and I got some cardboard and made a template so when I cut it, it's cut to size and then right now i have this reflective side and then this one i put a darker fabric because if you put this against the window with just this side you can actually see the reflectix but with this dark cloth when it's pressed against the window it looks dark out I think this one goes over here and once it's there it doesn't move window covers or over here pretty so this one is mostly decorative i found this curtain at ikea and i thought it was so pretty and i just wanted to add it to my van and it goes like that it kind of gives me a little bit of privacy when i'm like at the beach they don't see me very very easy plus my window is partially tinted this one just helps and it's pretty so this is my privacy curtain i just have to put it this way right now i'm using the shower curtain rod to hold it together for my window i also cut to size two of this one for this side and one for the passenger side and then i find that the store-bought shade are either too big mostly too small so i decided to cut one to size also i like it because i was even able to make a slit where my mirror is and it does cool the whole car down for my water system by the way this sink i got from ikea and this one from marketplace i bought it used and then for my water i do have a little switch over here because i was told that the pump that i have if i don't put a switch it will continually pump which is not good so i have a switch over here this is how my water is and sometimes if i have to or if it's necessary i could actually pull this one stay outside and it could be my little shower so this little thing here is just a drying rack after i wash things 
I kind of roll it back up over here and then I sit everything and wait for them to dry oh and something that i wanted to share with you and your beautiful subscribers so if you can see i have this soap right here it doesn't move this basket does not move this one doesn't move and this one doesn't move i use alien tape i found this at walmart but i find that it's cheaper at amazon it's perfect for van and i'm able to hold everything in the van without poking a hole until you decide to take it off and it doesn't damage anything. So highly, highly recommend it. So here is my water system. This is my fresh water, which is connected to the pump. And then behind that is my gray water. This is what? Seven gallons, seven and seven. So I was told according to YouTube, it's best that way. So once my fresh water is empty, I also know that my gray water is full. For drinking water, I do have my water inside my refrigerator because it's cheaper. Not only for drinking, it's also for cooking. Okay, so right now, since I'm still traveling part-time, usually when I get home, I empty the great tank and then I fill it up based on how much I need it. I try not to fill it up too much because I want it to keep the van as light as possible and I know water is heavy right now since i'm only traveling part-time most of the time i go to places where there is an access for toilets like stores restaurants or i go to parks that has one but if i have to go somewhere and there's no bathroom i have this little bucket and i line it with a plastic that is basically the size of this bucket and i just go number one here if i have to go number two i really have to find somewhere but for now this is what i have and once i done i just dispose it properly one time we went camping and we picked a camping spot where they have quarter showers but i do intend to do what most people do i think you mentioned it in your channel gym membership so that's something that i intend to do also or if i really have to i could just fill my tank with water at the grocery and then shower using my little shower here so this one basically some people call it pee bucket but this is not what i use this for i use this to basically if i'm going somewhere to take a shower you kind of scoop some water pull pour all over your body and top from the top of your head going down and then shampoo soap and then get some more water and then rinse it's the best way especially if you don't have a whole lot of water instead of the shower just consistently going on because i live here in san diego we don't really use this this much <laughs> but i do have this electric blanket i also have some thermal pjs so that's how i intend to stay warm so this window actually do open and with my max air fan and the doors being open and i think my secret weapon in this van is this very very nice wuzu fan it oscillates up and down and sideways and there's several settings to it and the best part it has this remote control and then i just attach it with velcro so i don't lose it this one is designed to be my food cabinet at least the top and then the bottom, I will actually make it as my closed cabinet, especially the one that I need to access right away. If I'm in a place where I don't feel safe to go out, I need to be able to access some of my clothes, especially my pajamas. This cabinet goes all the way down. So as you can see, I have some clothes in here. But like I said, I'm still kind of traveling part time. So I change and move things around in the fan depending on where I'm going. If I invited a friend to camp with me, I will kind of move things around so one of this cabinet will be empty and just specifically for my friend. Cabinet-wise, I bought the big piece of wood and I just kind of cut them to size. I cut it at my house. I wish I knew that I can cut it at Home Depot because they keep saying measure twice, cut once. I did measure more than twice, but I still mess up. So, I mean, that just goes to show I didn't have experience. But you know what? It's one of those things. If you really want to try to do something, everything is figure outable. 
and then for my re refrigerator i decided to put it in between the passenger and the driver's seat i have right now this bungee cord to hold it but if i wanted to move it it sits in a little platform so it can roll out or roll in and then i just secure it with a bungee cord it is very big but like i said earlier i have this crazy obsession with my bubbly water it could be a fridge in the freezer but the freezer part is gonna be this one it's huge and this is only the refrigerator part so i just keep it fridge fridge aside from my camping stove which i intend to use if i'm camping outside or if i don't want to cook inside the van so this one is super easy and i have this little clip so i can secure if i want to if you don't secure anything in the van it will either shake make a lot of noise or it will fall apart so i put this little towel over here because i find that it helps with noise reduction my oven is right here it's a small oven initially when i got this i was thinking how would i heat the van first of all i love cooking i love baking and then i'm thinking if i go somewhere where it's cold i can always bake cookies the van will smell good i have cookies and it's going to heat up my whole van too i don't know how that's going to work but that's my plan for now I do have this little puck light. This is the switch and you can see it turns on. But then at night before I go to bed, I like using this one it's so good. I usually have the habit of unplugging everything when they're not in use. This one is perfect because if I wanted to read something the van is not too bright everywhere and i like that i can move it around and if i decide to put my head on the other side i can also move this over here even at the house i don't really watch a whole lot of tv if i watch anything i watch youtube mostly i'm trying to learn how to be better in becoming a youtuber and i think that's why i followed allison i really like her style and i like her editing i even love her bloopers but as far as entertainment i actually have a little projector that i intend to use with my phone and then i intend to put a cloth over here if i wanted to have movie but i'm not really a big tv or movie person i love to read right now i'm working on start with why with by Simon Sinek. I also have my little karaoke mic whenever we go to the beach. When I invite my Filipino friends, we love to sing. I mean, doesn't mean we can sing, but we love to sing anyways. I have two 100 watt solar panel up on the roof. I have 3000 watt inverter that came in the van when I bought it and a big gel battery they're all energy it's telling me right now what i need to do the temperature of the battery right now i have 11.9 volt 38 point watt hour so my battery actually went down a little bit and then this one i put it in here so i can control the light right now some of them are kind of just there with no purpose but i put names so i know what i'm going to use it for but as it is right now i only have the light and the pump for my water so because I have a small van, what I can't stand. And I saw this one. This is usually used by people who lay down tiles. And it's so good for the purpose of me being in the van. I'm always on my knees. And I find that it hurts after a while. So I use this one. It's perfect. If I wanted to extend my counter space, I have this little trigger mounted table. That um, the same material as my counters. And I just kind of cut it to size. And I made this extension and it does work. And it's trigger mount. And underneath here is where I keep my little stool. If I wanted to sit down, it's right here. And then when I need to put it away, the same thing. I just fold it, lift this up a little bit and that's where it stays i used this to hold the paper towel because without it i find that the paper towel unrolls and it's everywhere this one does the trick 
if you can see i have hats over here and if i'm parked i don't want them sitting everywhere so i just kind of use my hooks to hold my hats and every now and then i use it over there you can see i have my masks i like baskets to organize i think it's my little love catcher i put everything that i love in here especially my little instax camera so every time i have a guest i take a picture with them and then i have a little book that i put their picture in there and sometimes they leave me like a little note i didn't have the book right now because i kind of cleaned the van for allison and i forgot to put it back in and then of course my beautiful cross with the heart everybody that knows me knows that i'm the crazy plant lady and i cannot have this van and call it my own if i don't have any plant in here so this is my succulents i kind of have to change this one but they're happy well, thank you so much, Christina, for showing us into your home. It is so beautiful. I love all the color scheme and how it's so bright and beautiful. Tell everybody again where they can find you because I really think your channel is going to be so important for a lot of people. Oh, thank you. So my channel's name is Vander Woman. When I was trying to figure out if I would do this vlog thing, I wanted to make sure that I'm not just doing it for fun. I wanted to have a purpose. And as a single mom, I feel like there are some stereotypes. And as you can tell, we're two people that are single, we're mom, but we're happy. We're, mm -hmm. we're normal people. So I thought I wanted to create a channel where I can show single moms like you and I that if we can get together and build a community, this whole thing is for me to empower other single moms like myself. This is why I'm doing this. I wanted to see other single moms who would make me feel like I'm not unusual. I'm not alone. Yeah. And there's so many things that we can do. I've seen how many people you've reached in your, you know, through your channel. I'm like looking up to you and I'm like, okay, she is amazing. Thank you. Yes. The snack pack is amazing. Yes. Our community is really awesome. I could see that. Mm -hmm. I could see that. Vander Woman on YouTube and go follow, subscribe, and the journey is going to be awesome. And I'm really looking forward to following. Thank you. Thank you. Have Bye. a great day, everybody. Snack time. Snack time.